Sooners of Oklahoma. The men's team looking to get back on track. Won't be easy, but you know what? One of them, one of their games, their midweek game at least, will be in Norman. So that makes it a little easier. It will be against the Cyclones of Iowa State coming off of the 22-13 overall year. 7-11 in Big 12 play. Sooners will then head on the road to Lubbock, Texas to face Texas Tech, who came off who is coming off of a 27-10 overall record, 12-6 in conference play. Well, all right, guys, we'll preview the game, but home game between Iowa State and the game at Texas Tech. Preview those two games. You know when it is. Coming up next, you know what else to do. Bummer Center 1982. You know what it is. Don't go away. <laughs> James. The men's basketball game, we will preview it right now. It will start midweek against the Iowa, against the Iowa State Cyclones. Coming off 22-13 overall year, 7-11 in conference play, Big 12 play, I should say. They lost in the Sweet 16 to Miami of Florida, 70-56. Their, their head coach, TJ Osenberger, is a 2001 grad from White Wisconsin Whitewater, and in this is in his second season in Ames. Scoring leaders for Iowa State this year: Iowa State, uh, 13 Jacob Holmes and two Caleb Grill are the two players that are coming off of uh, good starts in uh, non-conference play. Double figures, by the way, for both teams. No, both players, by the way. 13, we'll start with 13. Jacob Holmes, who finished, who averages 13.5 points per ball game. 3.3 rebounds, 3.1 points uh, assists per ball game in 12 games. While Caleb Gr Grill averages 10.7 points per ball game. 4.5 boards and 4.5 assists per ball game, playing in 11 of the 12 games this year for the Cyclones of Iowa State. Sooners will then head to Lubbock, home of the Red Raiders. Big 12 play, in Big 12 play, I should say. Overall, last year, Texas Tech coming off of a 27-10 overall record, 12-6 in Big 12 play, lost to Duke 78-73 in the Sweet 16 round last year. Their head coach, Mark Adams, is a... 1976 round from the South Plains College and is in his second season in charge of Texas Tech. Scoring leaders for playing for Texas Tech this year, double figures, Kevin Ormbanner and Daniel Ocho. Bacho. Kevin Obenauer is first. Obenauer averages 15.8 points per ball game. 6.2 rebounds. 1.2 assists per ball game, playing in 13 games. Daniel Bacho played averages 12.3 points per ball game, 8.4 rebounds, and 1.5 assists per ball game, playing in 11 games this year for the Red Raiders. And the Sooners of Oklahoma, coming off of a 17-16 overall year, 7-11 in conference play, lost to St. Bonaventure, 70-68 to in the second round of the postseason NIT tournament. Their head coach, Porter Moser, is a 1990 grad from Creighton University and is in his second season in charge of Oklahoma. Double figures scoring for Oklahoma. There's two guys that average double figures as the highest scoring suitors. Grant Shurfield and Tanner Groves are the two players. 
We'll start with Greg Sheerfield, who averages 18.0 points per ball game, 2.8 rebounds, 3.8 assists per ball game, playing in 12 games. While Tanner Groves averages 11.1 points per ball game, 6.9 assists per ball game, 2.2 assists uh, or 6.9 boards per ball game, and 2.2 assists per ball game, playing in 12 games this year for the Sooners of Oklahoma. All right, guys, thanks for watching and. Um, Hit the subscribe button if you're watching on YouTube and you like it. If you're not watching on Fa on YouTube, that's all right. Facebook is good too. Leave a comment, like the post. Boomer, uh, sooner, uh, Harry James Taylor is is the name under that. Just look for that. It's also on my Twitter handle at soonerfan1982. At soonerfan1982, these posts are there too. I'll tell you what won't be here in a couple of minutes. I won't be, because I'm zipping. I'm out of here. Peace, and uh, boomer sooner, everybody. See y'all next week. I'm out.